question is to solve the equation z to the power 6 equals minus 1, where z is a complex number. And to solve the equation, we need to find uh, 6 root of minus 1. Okay, to find this 6 root, we need to calculate modulus of minus 1, which is 1, and argument of minus 1, which is pi plus 2 pi k, where k is integer. Okay, and so z to the power 6 will be 1 times, where 1 is the modulus of minus 1, times e to the power i times argument of minus 1, which is pi plus 2 pi k. <coughs> and um, k is any integer. Okay. Next, we need to find z. Taking 1 over 6 power of this number, we'll obtain e to the i pi plus 2 pi k divided by 6. And to make this number between minus pi and pi, we will take k equals minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2. For k minus 3, we'll obtain e to the power uh, minus i 5 pi over 6. When k equals 2, we'll get e to the power minus i times pi and 2. When k equals minus 1, we will get e to the power minus uh, pi on 6, where k is 0, we will obtain e to the power i pi on 6. When k is 1, it will be e to the power i pi on 2. And finally, when k is 2, it will be e to the power i 5 pi and 6. So, uh, these six numbers are solutions for this given equation. For part b, we need to plot the solutions from part a as points in the argon diagram. Um, Let's do that. Since all solutions from part A uh, have modulus 1, therefore they all will be on the unit circle. Let's draw the unit circle. Okay. Uh, the first one was e to the power i pi and 6, so it will be the point over here, where the angle between this vector and x-axis is pi and 6. So this point here will be e to the power i pi and 6. Our next point is e to the power i pi on 2. The angle pi on 2 is here. So this point will be e to the i pi on 2. Next one is e to the power minus pi on 6. So it will be angle pi on 6. But um, in clockwise direction, so it should be somewhere here.
uh, this point is symmetric uh, to this point with respect to x-axis and these two points are conjugate and similarly the point e to the minus i pi on 2 the conjugate for the point e to the pi on 2 it will be here and um, we have also two points uh, the first one e to the i 5 pi on 6 so it will be somewhere here Six. and this angle from, from x-axis will be 5, 5 and 6 and its conjugate is the point over here the point e to the minus i 5, and 5 pi and 6 for part c we need to write this polynomial as a product of complex linear factors. To do this, we'll use the factor theorem. Um, so we need to uh, have all roots uh, of the equation where this polynomial equals zero and write down the uh, factors uh, in this way z minus the first root, z minus the second root and so on. And this will be uh, the product of complex linear factors because we have complex numbers in each factor. Okay, uh, we also can write this polynomial as a product of real quadratic factors. And to, the, to do this, it's convenient to write all uh, factors, all complex linear factors of this polynomial in this order. So uh, the complex conjugate numbers will be next to each other. For example, here pi on 6 and minus pi on 6. Um, and uh, the product of these two brackets will be the quadratic factor with real coefficients. For example, uh, let's calculate the first one. just use on standard rules it will be z squared minus um, e to the i pi over 6 z minus e to the minus i pi over 6 z and plus uh, this time this will give us 1 uh, because uh, multiplying this we will sum powers and the power will be 0 e to the power 0 will be 1 so um, we'll have factorize these two summons we'll have z e i pi on 6 plus e minus i pi on 6 plus 1 and this bracket we can expand this bracket as follows this is our cos of pi on 6 plus i sine pi on 6 and this number is cos pi on 6 minus i sine pi on 6 these two cancels we have also plus 1 here so overall we obtain that square minus cos pi on 6 and cos pi on 6 will give us 2 cos pi on 6 z plus 1 and since, since cos pi on 6 equals 2 or uh, square root of 3, 3 over 2, we'll obtain square root of 3z plus 1. 
So we see indeed that all coefficients here are real coefficients. And we can do the same for uh, the second pair of brackets. It will be z minus e i pi n2, z minus e to the minus pi n2. And actually we can uh, write down this thing only with pi n2 instead of pi n6. Or it will be the z squared minus. Doing the same thing as here, we will arrive at 2 cos pi n2 z plus 1. And cos pi n2 is 0. Therefore, these two brackets will give us z squared plus 1. And finally, We will cal calculate the product of the bra brackets z minus i5.6 I and z minus minus i5.6. Okay, we can uh, write down what we have. This is the same as this one, only 5 pi and 6 instead of pi and 2 and cos 5 pi and 6 is minus square root of 3 on 2 so overall we'll get plus here square root of 3 z plus 1 okay and finally we will write down the products of this all things we'll get that z to the power 6 plus 1 is uh, the first bracket, this one, z square minus square root of 3 z plus 1. The second bracket is z square plus 1. And the third one is z square plus square root of 3 z plus 1. So we indeed obtained the factorization of this polynomial using quadratic real factors. Mm -hmm.